How to set up a Windows Server The first thing you'll need is a server host to install your Windows Server onto. My preferred server host is Vulture. If you're also going to choose Vulture as your server host, please use my referral link in the video description below. So once you've clicked on the referral link, you'll be taken to Vulture.com. Here you'll need to sign up for a Vulture account, so navigate to the top right hand side here and click sign up. Once you're here, you'll need to enter your email address, password, and confirm to having read the GPDR privacy notice. I already have an account, so I'm simply going to log into Vulture. Once you're logged in, you'll most likely be brought to the billing page. Here you'll need to link your billing information, such as a card or your PayPal account. Once you've done that, navigate to products, and this is where we'll be deploying our Windows server. So navigate to the right hand side here and click the plus symbol, left click on it. Once you're here, choose your server. I'm going to go with Cloud Compute and scroll down to where it says Server Location. So I'm going to go with London, UK, as that's the server closest to me. Continue scrolling down, and here you'll have the option to pick the server type. So we're going to go with Windows. Scroll down a little more and you'll have two options. You'll either have 2012 R2, X64, or you'll have 2016 x64 and we're going to go with Windows Server 2016 x64 left click on it and then continue scrolling down here you'll have the option to select your server size for London UK you only have one option and that is the $20 a month server size you get 55 gigabyte SSD you get one CPU 2 gigabytes of memory and 2000 gigabytes bandwidth this also includes a $10 Windows license per month scroll down to the bottom here and here you'll have some additional features where you can enable IPv6 enable auto backups enable DDoS protection enable private networking I'm not going to add any of these additional features continue scrolling down where you'll have the ability to add a startup script and finally to give your server a name and a label so I'm just going to go with Windows Server once you've done that, simply click Deploy Now on the bottom right hand corner, left click on it. Once you've done that, you'll be brought back to the Products page. Just continue scrolling down all the way to the bottom and you should see your Windows Server being installed. This will take a minimum of 15 minutes to install. Please be patient. Alright guys, once the 15 minutes has elapsed and your status has changed from installing to running, you are now ready to connect to your server. To connect to your Windows Server, it's rather simple. All you need to do is click on the Windows Server, and then you'll be brought to the overview of your server. As you can see, here you can see your server location, the IP address of your server, the username, and the password. Now the easiest way to connect to your server if you don't have Windows is to navigate to the top right hand corner here and click on the view console button and Vulture will bring up a console for you to view your Windows server on. However if you're lucky and you're on Windows all you need to do is actually minimize your browser here and you'll need to search for remote desktop connection. As you can see I have a shortcut on my desktop here. If you don't have a shortcut on your desktop you can just simply click the magnifying glass here or your search box which will be on the bottom of your desktop. So just left click here and then search remote desktop connection and then just simply hit open and now you'll be greeted with the remote desktop connection window in the computer section you'll need to enter your vulture server IP address for your Windows server so just navigate back to your browser and then all you need to do is copy the IP address here and then go back to the remote desktop connection and paste in the IP address once you've done that click connect and now you need to enter in your username and your password for your Windows Server. So as you can see here, just go back to your browser, copy the word administrator for the username, paste that in, and then copy the password. And then also paste that in. You have the option for the remote desktop connection to remember your password and username. And this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to tick this box and then click OK. You'll now be greeted with this notification that says the identity of the remote computer cannot be verified. Do you want to connect anyway? You'll always get this message when you first connect into a server. We're connecting to our Vulture Windows Server. So all you need to do here is click don't ask me again for connections to this computer so you don't get this message again and then click yes. Once you've done that, your Windows Server will start booting up. Once it's booted up, you'll be greeted with a nice, fresh, 
clean installation of Windows 10. In a moment, you'll be greeted with the Windows Server Manager dashboard. Here, you'll be able to configure this local server, add roles, create server groups, and to connect the server to cloud services. Now, for the time being, we're not going to do any of that right now, as this tutorial is just to show you how to set up a fresh Windows Server on Vulture. So that pretty much concludes the video. However, before we end, I just want to minimize this and show you that this server is indeed connected to the internet. So let me just open up Internet Explorer here. And then let's just maximize it here. Oh, actually, let's click OK here for this and then maximize it. And let's go to one of my favorite search engines, which is DuckDuckGo. So I'm just going to go www.duckduckgo.com and then hit enter. You'll then be greeted with this warning here. I'm just going to tick it and then click OK. Once you've done that, you'll need to add your website of choice to the unblock list. So I'm just going to click add here and then I'm going to add duckduckgo.com and then click close. And now we should be brought to DuckDuckGo.com. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to give this video a like, comment down below if this video helped you, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next one. Wait, is it so high to let you go?